Welcome to the video two on how to generate an access token that you're going to use to carry out any request in the Daraja API. First, before we proceed, I had stated in my, in the introduction video, when you want to debug the node application lively, I stated that you used node.app.js, but you that will not debug lively. So what you need to do, you need to use node node mon app dot js so that the app can can you can debug the app lively so let us proceed so here i have already provided the um, the code that you're going to use in order to generate the access token so here you can come to this code here i have created a function called the get access token so access token here it's where you're gonna you're going to place your consumer key and consumer secret so in order to get a consumer secret you need to have an mpesa the raj api account so i had created and shown in my php course on how to create an mpesa an mpesa daraja api account and how to create the app that that has your consumer key and consumer secret so let me log into my my account which load then here you will have your apps so you can create a new one from here but here i've already created one so this is what we are going we are going to use so when you click show keys show key secret you will get your consumer key and your consumer secret that you are going to use to generate an a, an access token which you are going to use to call api request on mpesa direct api so let us copy our consumer key and place it place it here then let us take uh, get our consumer secret now the consumer secret you place it here and then what we are going to do because i've created a route so in uh, let us first run here in the local let us let me copy this so that i can uh, view it so here it is so in our first first try when we, we run the app when you use this slash you will get this as your response so this is what is going to be sent so here so when we want to view our access token we will use this route let us come here then we we check on we check if this code our code will generate an access token that we're going to use in every every request that we're going to carry be it sdk be it c2b uh checking transaction all those api that that mpesa the tempesa data jpa provides we will need an access token so let us test it because we have already placed our consumer key and our consumer secret so let us just come here then we write the route then when we reload we can come here here i love using emojis that's why i've used this so your access token is this so when you come here to our code here it's our it's where our access token is so we will it means that we have successfully generated an access token using our consumer key and our consumer secret so now we can proceed with the other api request so